today I'm going to be making pumpkin spice oat cookies, which is a bit like flapjack crossed with a brandy snap but without any brandy. So what I've got in my saucepan, a nice and easy recipe, is 100 grams of butter, uh, 100 grams of golden sugar and two tablespoons of golden syrup. Um, if you wanted to mix the recipe up a little bit, this could be when you put in any dried fruit because then it would get a little bit of a soaking because this is all the wet ingredients. I'm just going to stir these for a little bit till they've melted. I put the oven on to 160 degrees because it's a pan oven and it doesn't need to be heated too quickly because of all the sugar content in it. Um, and then what makes it pumpkin spice is in here I've got a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ginger and half a teaspoon of cloves and half a teaspoon of mixed spice. If you don't like any of those just simply admit them but it kind of makes it smell quite nice. I've also got 100 grams of porridge oats and 100 grams of self-raising flour and then half a teaspoon of bicarb. So it kind of gets it quite nice and puffy but then you don't need to cook it until it's completely rigid. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. Let me just turn this up and melt this. So all you do, you put all of your wet ingredients into the saucepan, and then you just heat it through until all the butter is melted. Let's have a look. It's quite a pretty sight, and it's quite a dark colour. If you wanted to, to make it even more rich as a flavour, you could substitute one of the two tablespoons of golden syrup for more of a treacle and then you'd have that much darker colour, much richer. So you keep that heating just a little bit longer because it's got that lovely glossy sheen to it. I'm just going to very carefully mix all this together so we don't get too much mixed spice in one go. And I've already greased my little cupcake tins. So if you wanted to, you could put them into little cases but I'm just going to take them into work tomorrow, so I'll put them in those ones. And then when all the butter is melted, I'm just going to take it off the heat. We don't want it to bubble, we don't need it to boil over, just need it all to mix together without any lumps. And then I can literally pour that in there. Give it a quick stir because it's got self-raising flour in so I don't want to take too long to do this. No eggs or anything like that. And the only cooking we're going to do is a maximum of 10 minutes in the oven. And then hopefully they'll be nice and ready to eat. But let them cool off a bit because they stay hot for quite a while, as you can tell. Okay, and then all I'll do is empty them into each of these nice and neatly. Okay, and I'll put a photograph up of what they look like afterwards and hopefully lots of happy smiling faces eating them. If you want to know more about what we're doing at the minismallholder.com, visit us there. Um, if you like the video, please tell us. If you don't like the video, please tell us. And the full recipe will be on the website. Thanks very much. Bye.